happened Prepare! though? Okay. To have your minds blown. Oh, son of a... This summer, a movie first of its kind, based on the iPhone app that no one even wants to play anymore. Are you angry, Peter? You look angry. <laughs> angry Birds. Be the first to see the movie that I'm sure will open the door for more iPhone apps that want to cash in at the box office as Hollywood runs out of original ideas. Be on the lookout for Clash of the Clans the movie, <laughs> Candy Crush the movie, The sweetest game just keeps getting sweeter, Candy Crush Saga, Farm Hero Saga the movie. Challenge yourself with brand new levels. Farm Hero Saga. Crossroad, the movie. <laughs> Boom Beach, the movie. Let's head home, boys. Boom Beach, come with a plan or leave in defeat. Well, you get the picture. This cake is on you! Don't miss out on the scene where Red, played by the guy from Meet the Millers, well, I'm thinking maybe a roof over your head, some actual hot food, that'd be good enough, has his clown nose fall off, lands on the ground behind him, then suddenly appears on the ground in front of him. Or the part at the play where the purple bird is sitting next to the bird with the flu-like symptoms, then without warning, he morphs into a gray bird. <laughs> Anger management class. Come with your family to see the spot on the floor that no one notices, only to have a stack of personal files appear out of thin air. This kid's movie is action-packed with violence, destruction, and adult-suggested content. mixed in with things that fall out of the ceiling Billy has passed to a higher plane of existence only to magically end up in the same place when the camera cuts away Have you come to smash all of our houses or just mine? Like mistake number five when Red and Chuck are having a romantic dinner at an empty table Naked just presenting themselves I'm looking at all their business here but as we get a shot of them from the front, they now have food and drink? Holy moly! Or mistake number six, where Leonard, voiced by the same guy who did Fear in the movie Inside Out, oh, pretend we can't speak English, is rolling on the grass without shade. Then, boom, he's got his stunners on? Oh. Come on! Be sure to spend close to $100 at the theater for the whole family, fight traffic, and sit in dirty seats to see this cutting-edge comedy thriller. I see all and... Seriously, animators literally cut the edge in the film. What are your names? If you know all, why don't you know who we are? Oh. Watch as animators get lazy toward the end of the film by creating dynamite and an umbrella in a scene just to cut it out of the next shot, hoping you wouldn't notice. No. Also customary with trying to make the movie longer, filmmakers steal clips from popular movies like The Shining. Ever and ever, ever and X-Men Days of Future Past. Could save time in a bottle The first thing That was beautiful. Witness the magic of cinema as the egg that Red is trying to save cracks when it falls to the ground. Oh, hold on, Red! I'm gonna save that egg! But with just a touch of movie magic, it's made whole again. And finally, be ready to explain to your children how the mighty eagle has nothing on his beak. Ah! Crap. Crap. But after a short tumble, there's a plunger there. 
Look at that! Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Also featuring Chuck, voiced by the guy who did Olaf from Frozen. And who's the funky looking donkey over there? The Mighty Eagle, voiced by this guy. No. Stella, voiced by Dory's mom in Finding Dory. <clears throat> Hi, Dory! This summer, Jolt missed the movie that only got a rating of 6.3 on Internet Movie Database and 43% on Rotten Tomato. Hollywood's and Apple's first tag team effort to get into your pockets, Angry Birds, coming to an overpriced theater or illegal download site near you. I don't do that anymore. I'm retired. What was your favorite mistake in the movie? Let us know in the comments section below. Also, let us know what you'd like to see next. And if you haven't joined our family, click the subscribe button now. Thanks for hanging out with us, and we'll see you next week.